so it started we're in the fry room or I don't know what it's going to be it'll have fry in it to start with and then hopefully a few little grow ons but yeah started clearing stuff out so the tumble dry has gone Marriage is looking absolutely disgraceful uh, just getting a frame in here because what I want is as that goes through to the garage where all my shit is there's a lot of dust so I've got my helper here and I Ted who's adamant on just anything I cut he takes it away so yeah just looks an absolute mess at the moment so the new windows there ready to go in up the back obviously the lighting will all change I've got to sort the ceiling out um, some sort of coving of some sort be plywood just to cover up the uh, the frame and the top blocks this door's got to come off oh my god I nearly fell over obviously old rotten doors got to come off for security reasons got the new one there ready to go got the internal door ready to go and what I'm thinking is inside here is we go for a bit of an Amazon-y theme <laughs> sorry about that tripping over everything a uh, bit of an Amazon-y theme so we shall see fake grasses and ferns and but yeah I'll uh, keep you updated there we go that'll do for today got all the fill in some pretty architraves to go on but uh, yeah other than that so this room is now separated so when we was looking earlier that went into the garage and then the pond is gonna go there believe it or not Hard to believe, no? But we get there. No one else is allowed, so fuck off. There we go, another couple of hours done. Got the uh, exterior ply up around the edges. Had to have a step in it, I was gonna cut it, but slope roof, but. So that's where the window's going. Oh. So window's going up there. This is all cleared out, so if I step back a bit, this, excuse the dogs, as always, that is going to be a pond, he says, indoor pond. Yeah. So, looking much tidier than it was. Move the light. Been up on the roof as well. So, yeah, be stood here looking at a nice pond. And then I've staggered these out so there'll be LEDs underneath these. So, a bit of romance, you know what I mean? Just me and the fish, a bit of romance. Catch you in a bit. Safety first, fuckers! Say goodbye, Mr. Wolf. Crikey! Ah oh, shit, I forgot what I had! Yes. Here we go. It's getting dark now, so nice. Uh, if you've not come across this stuff before, some know it as expanding foam. I know it as God's gift to the bodger. But I would like to point out my actual gap. I've got a bit more this side to allow for a bit of expansion. But, uh, yeah. Opens and shuts. I've got this window, so as you know, on this channel, we do everything for a budget. So uh, I had quotes of about 120, 130 quid to make that window. 30 quid, get on the old Facebook marketplace. Um, other shit social channels available. But yeah, it's worth having a look on the old uh, free ads. It's brand new, still got the sticks and everything. Someone bought it, decided they didn't need it. So yeah, 30 bucks. But uh, yeah, on to the next thing. Tidying up the mess. Bugger. That's another couple of hours done. So, the ceiling is asbestos cement or cement with asbestos in it. So, 
pretty low risk, but pays to seal it anyway before painting. So, window surround and everything's in. All the sleepers are cut ready. So these are all the sleepers off of the old pond. Um, yeah, surprising, they're not gone as far. So the other one was in the ground. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's only three high and it's tiny. But it's actually, uh, it's used all of the sleepers because the old one was only two sleepers high and then dug into the ground, if that makes sense. So uh, just about enough, thankfully. So in terms of this, uh, one, two, three, and then there's a small post. So it's gonna be just under a metre deep. So it comes to about there. But yeah, so this is all sealed, just using a stabilising solution. Basically um, a cheap, well it's not cheap PVA, it's an expensive PVA, but uh, just stabilises the surface, acts as a primer. Gets rid of the chalkiness. But yeah, I'll catch up with you soon, but uh, that's another step done. Hopefully tomorrow it starts to actually look like a, a little pond room. We'll see. <laughs> Here we go. She's starting to go in there. So I say, we're just using the old sleepers from the old pond. But it wouldn't be new sleepers from the old pond, would they? And they wouldn't be old sleepers from the new pond. You get what I mean? So double fasting at the front. Excuse me, out of breath, it's a bit of a tight space to work in. But uh, yeah, so all of those three you won't see, obviously. Same with the other layers, so it doesn't matter what they look like, but the fronts, obviously, I'll sand down treat to a bit of paint or a bit of stain but uh, yeah damp proof under there make sure no water comes in from the outside but yeah coming along sorry about the filming in here it's um, not a huge amount of state space if I step into the garage you kind of get the gist but uh, not a huge pond it'd be about 1260 litres I think it is but that's enough for uh, me koi fry like but yeah here we go the frame done. The corner's bolted in. Says, so that's the dirty work done. Oh, excuse me, fall in the garage. So size wise, we are 1.2 or 1.6. And I can't remember the depth. Should we have a look? Excuse fingers. So what you're seeing now is, let's get the tape what you're seeing now is depth to water. Actually slightly less than I was hoping for. So that's 8.20. I was going for a metre, but I don't want to build up any higher than that out of the ground. Not inside. It's all bulked together and obviously secured. So you don't realise how unsquare a building is. I can assure you the pond is square. Yeah, so there she is. Now we start the decorating. So this floor's got to be brought up, inch and a half. I just want to stop the water coming in. And then it's time to replace that door with a nice door with a window and hide all this crap. So I said last night, everything's been sealed. Got to sand down all the woodwork, windows in and solid dried. And uh, yeah, so the pump will sit Pump will sit on the bottom, it's only going to be pump fed. But the filter will sit in that corner. I've got electrics here, I run to a switch box. Um, it's always safe to have a plug next to water. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move that plug up so it's higher, so she's well out of the way. Um, I'll probably go roughly here. But these are only a plastic conduit. Anyway, yeah, if I step back, I'm going to have a light up off of that beam lighting down on the pond, a bit of fake astro turf, a few fake plants, a couple of real plants, everybody's happy. Another couple of hours done. So, ceiling will get covered with a fabric. I'm just going to use the, uh, the sail like you have in the garden over the pond. But yeah, look. Oh, it's starting to look like a room. That's a light, that's a window. We saw the pond earlier. Yeah, now it's all one colour. That is just an undercoat for now. Still got all the filler work to do. Just wanted to get a base coat on it, check that it's uh, 
It's half tidy like. Yeah. Here's Larry. Catch you in a bit. Yes, I will. Thank you.